Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and I'll be talking about being pregnant. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to share with you actually. Today I'm going to share with you my early pregnancy symptoms, how I found out I was pregnant, um, how I told my husband, and also I'm at that point where I know the gender so I can actually show with, share with you my gender reveal um, that we had recently. I'm 23 weeks pregnant with my third baby and we're very excited about it. So yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, how did I find out? Um, I found out about 10 days late for my cycle. Um, I noticed that I was running late and I got, thought about the symptoms that I've been having. So. I decided to check and I checked and of course I was pregnant and I started thinking about how could I tell my husband that I'm pregnant hence the video that I'm going to show you spoiler alert it's not in this house it's actually in our old apartment um, condo complex thing and um, it looks nothing like this so it's just a very homey situation, but you know. Also that day, just so you know why my husband reacts the way he does, he um, asked me if I was pregnant because I was so smiley and not myself, I guess. I was too happy to be, <laughs> I was too happy for a regular weekday. And so he asked me and I said no. So that's why he reacts the way he does. But um, yeah, here it goes. Do you remember we were looking for a family car? Do you remember which one you liked? Ouch. Do you remember which one you liked? early pregnancy symptoms a couple days after <clears throat> you know what because there's probably some little kids watching this video I love you guys thank you for watching this video but it's kind of not for you <laughs> anyway it's okay love you guys a couple of days after I had I remember feeling really painful in my belly and just really bloated and I remember telling Bova, hey my husband, hey I feel like I just got pregnant, like I feel like I have a little baby in my belly and I checked, peed on a stick, I checked and it was a negative but mine were like really really, really, really cheap ones, little ones so probably didn't catch it and that actually put my mind at ease I was like okay whatever I'm not pregnant I believed it and then I've been having I started having weird symptoms like um I would like gag when I would brush my tongue with my toothbrush I would I would gag and that only happens when I'm pregnant and that kind of made me thinking especially because I um was late for my cycle so that's when I checked again um, I would 
have vivid dreams. I had a, like three of them that I had three of them in which I was pregnant, in which I was giving you know birth to a baby, and I remember just walking down every time I would walk down my hallway with my pregnancy pictures, I would kind of get like this feeling of baby fever. I would actually want want another baby, so that would happen. And I remember being thirsty all the time, especially at night. I remember whenever like when my other kids woke me up or anything like that, or if I had to go to the bathroom, I would just have to take some sips of water. I noticed a lot of like mucus production and this was really weird because um, when I found out, no, like the very first month of my pregnancy was actually the start of COVID. And I remember always feeling this little scratchy thing in my throat, th throat and I was like, am I getting sick? So whenever, <laughs> whenever I felt that, I would just like eat garlic, I would cut it up and drink it with water. That my son, so that my tongue wouldn't wouldn't stink, and that actually worked. I don't think I was getting sick all those times. I just think it was a pregnancy symptom because I've heard of it being a symptom for for other people as well. But I would always have mucus in the morning, and I could, it's always had this feeling of like getting sick, but I wasn't. I never actually got sick, and. One of my like one of the new symptoms that I've been having that I haven't had with my other kids was like getting cramps in my lower belly. So like especially when I was getting out of my bed every morning, like I still have that. I would whenever I get out of bed, even in the middle of the night till I go to the bathroom or go check on my babies, then I just usually I just get cramps and my mom told me that she's been getting cramps. Uh, they would get worse with every pregnancy. My mom had nine kids, so I can't imagine her cramps being more painful than mine because mine are pretty painful. But thank God they go away. So that's good. And with all that being said, let me show you who we're having. Yeah, I know. So exciting. We're having a baby boy. I totally thought we were having a baby girl. I just had a feeling like we would, but um, either way, we're very excited. It doesn't matter if it's a girl or a boy. I'm excited that Luca's going to have a brother to play with and Jella's going to have a little bit brother to take care of. And we're excited to be a family of five instead of four. We do want a big family. We, I don't think I'm ever going to say that I don't want any more kids. I want it to be open. I want to have like my mind open to having more children. I like the thought of having a big family. I feel like I meant to have a big family. It's just something that God put on my heart and I love kids. I've loved kids ever since I was little. Thank you guys so much for watching this super jam-packed video. I want to do more pregnancy related videos. I want to do you know little updates about this pregnancy. Hopefully it all works out. Maybe I'll even film my labor. <laughs> I won't do that. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.